In this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn on your HP 360 device on tablet mode. This is a summary of this video. If you're not patient enough to watch everything, just pause and try. But I'm going to explain everything in detail. So when you use your HP NV 360 or also other models on tablet mode, the keyboard is completely deactivated. The power button doesn't work, the fingerprint scanner doesn't work, and as you can see, there are no buttons on the side. That means you can't turn on your device unless you flip the keyboard all the way back. Now, imagine a whole day of work. You have to flip your keyboard multiple times, and that can be very bad for the hinges. These hinges don't have a very good reputation. I'm not sure how much of this is true, but I prefer not to take a chance, so I avoid making my hinges work over time. This problem can be very frustrating, because how can a company make a device uh, and you can't turn it on in a certain position? If you go to the HP forums, their website or social media, you're going to see lots of angry users complaining about this. And this issue has been going on for years and HP technicians, they answer, they are working on an update, but this update never comes. I was very frustrated about it and I couldn't rest. So I decided to take numerous tests until I found its secret and it's quite simple. So I'm going to show you a couple of methods. The first method is from complete shutdown. When your HP is completely turned off, how can you turn it on? The secret is to open it just a little bit, about 45 degrees or 30 degree angle, and then you hit the power button and wait a few seconds, usually three to five seconds, and voila, your HP is on. Now, showing this to you now, it seems almost stupid because it's quite simple, but as simple as it is, nobody in the HP forums had come up with a solution. So the users out there don't know about it. I'm not sure if this works only with my model, so please um, leave a comment and tell me if that works for your model as well. So this is the first method when your computer is completely shut down. And now let's imagine that you are working, you are in your office, or you are in your classroom taking notes, and all of a sudden you take a break. Obviously your screen is going off, or you put it to sleep. So now, what can you do to wake it up? Again, when your computer is sleeping or when the screen is off, the keyboard doesn't work. Nothing works for this model. The trackpad, the fingerprint scanner, nothing works. You try the first method I just showed to you. And again, as you can see, nothing works. So what can you do in this situation? This is the second method, and this is more well known in the, in the HP community. All you have to do is to connect a Bluetooth device and activate your screen with your Bluetooth device, like a pen, for example. You could use a mouse or a keyboard, but I think the most practical solution is to use your pen, since most users already have a pen. So all you have to do is to double click and voila, it works. So this is quite simple. This method to wake your computer up using a Bluetooth device uh, mainly works if your computer uh, is if the screen is off, but it may not work if your computer is sleeping. That's why it's very important. You come here to settings, power and battery, and increase the time your computer goes to sleep so you can wake it up uh, within this amount of time. So consider how long your breaks take and put your computer to sleep according to that time. The other method you can use to wake it up is to connect the power cable. When you connect the power cable and your device is sleeping or the screen is off, it could turn on by itself, or if it doesn't turn on, you can just hit the power button. You have to try sometimes more than once. It doesn't work straight away. Oh, it's not to work. oh yeah. Now it's working. So this is um, the third method. Another thing that you can do, 
is to activate your computer using Cortana. So when you activate Cortana, uh, for some reason mine is not working right now, but you can call Cortana and your computer should wake up. Well, I have to tell you that I was very frustrated uh, with this device before because I thought it was unbelievable. I couldn't turn it on on tablet mode. But right now, having all this information and finding this out, I think it's now acceptable, it's practical and easy. So let me know in the comments if all these methods work for you as well and hope it helps.